aircraft. Um, you may remember, or you may have seen, I did a review of the 120 litre British Army Bergen. Now if you've seen that video, you may have also noticed the comments on it from Charlie Rigby. When I did the video, I had the carry mat mounted on top, uh, basically so I could keep the inside free to show how much this thing will actually carry. Now, uh, Charlie said that looks unsightly, which I've got to admit, yeah, it, it does, and it also catches on trees and branches and things like that when it's when it is on the top. Um, Charlie suggested putting it on the bottom. Now, I don't like that idea uh, because that way the rucksack won't stand up. So I like to so it'll stand up, so it, it's the right work for getting all your kit out of it when you need need to. So the way I usually do it. If you're out for a hike with one of these, if you fill this, it's going to be very heavy. And it, it, it holds that much that you don't need to fill it. You know, if, if you fill this thing when you're going for a hike, you're, you're taking too much kit with you, basically. Uh, so what I tend to do is I pack it so there's a, a, a gap on the inside there. And that just tucks in there. The lid comes over and the catches for the lid then hold the roll mat in place. So if you look at it, the lid is still covering all the sides to make you know to keep it waterproof. The inside is still above the level of the carry mat, so you're not going to get any rain getting in there. I mean, you can never rely on a rucksack being totally waterproof anyway, because it's, uh, you know, just, just the way that, you know, you, can't, you just can't rely on them. So I always have a waterproof liner in it anyway. But mounted like that, if you look at it from that side, it's not sticking out past the rucksack. If you look at it from that side, it's not sticking out past the rucksack. So anywhere that the actual rucksack will go, that will also go without catching on, any, on anything. So that's how I like to carry uh, the carry mat when I'm using it in conjunction with this rucksack. Uh, just while I'm on with the ruck, about the rucksack, um, since the last last video I did of it, I've actually added a strap on the front, a chest strap. Uh, the clips off an old old rucksack, but you, you can buy these from most uh, outdoor shops anyway. The webbing is uh, a piece of spare, uh, off, not off this Bergen, but off, off another one, because the, 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 the straps are, are usually too too long on them anyway, so there's plenty that you can cut off. So that's what I've used for that. Um, all it is, on this part, it's uh, sewn onto the clip. That then goes around the shoulder strap, back through there, so that holds that side secure. This side, it just loops through the clip so that it's adjustable, round the strap, and through that clip, again, to hold it in place. So that's uh, that's all it is to it. Uh, the, end, the loose end of that, I've just folded it over twice so that it's not fraying and you know, so the webbing's not coming to, coming to pieces. Uh, sewed that up just to make it neat or as neat as it can be with my sewing. So that's uh, that's the shoulder strap I've also added to it since the uh, first video I did of this but this uh, rucksack. So I hope you thank, found that useful and thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.